why I'm really excited to share with you what's important about um, the amazing virtual communities that we have to offer. But before I get started, I wanted to share with you, we do have a promotion that's going on right now that we would love to be able to help you try one of our community platforms and you would have it for 30 days as many and you would receive supreme support from us. So let's go ahead and get started on the agenda. And so a little bit more about Work Out Loud. As we had mentioned before, we focus in on connecting the customers, collecting or connecting employees and partners. We are a virtual community, although we also have uh, deployed many, I should say hundreds and thousands of online registration sites for actual physical meetings. But unfortunately, with what is taking place right now, our focus has pivoted to focus more so on the virtual aspect. And what we've done is we've created a platform where customers and employees and uh, employee, I'm sorry, employees and partners, they're able to facilitate and build the output the um, customer communities on their own. So let's just go ahead and talk about the five most important things that we believe that you need in order to have a customer, a positive customer journey and keep your customer forever. So what we have found is over the years, your customers are actually your best marketers and they're the ones that actually are the best supporters as well as helping you with your um, your product roadmap. And so that is why Work Out Loud is so fantastic, I will say, because it's built on a good 17 years of experiences that we have worked with other communities, other customers, other partners, other companies at trying to fulfill business needs and put, you know, putting that together in software. So the five things that I'm going to cover today is maximizing the effective use of your products. We all have products that we use, such as social sites. Uh, many of you, we are focusing on community right now, so many of you work on community platforms, but are you using it to the maximum? Um, are you being as effective as possible with that? Also delivering high strength communications. There are a lot of campaigns that people put together and communications out on social media and articles and things like that. But do you really know if the communication or your message is getting to the right people? So I have some ideas for that, just to make sure you're getting a very high strength communication to the right people, the right customers. Also creating a sense of community. It is important to be the people within the community so then they have a strong ecosystem amongst themselves so then they can take advantage of the thought leaders um, and for sharing information and continuing to come back because it's creating a circle of trust where they know they can get the right answers and also shorten the process of coming to the right conclusion instead of questioning um, leveraging the intelligence and data so definitely want to be able to have tools in place so you're able to measure to find out are people coming to the site are they interacting what are they doing and we're going to touch on that a little bit further because it's important to measure and then improve so you have a baseline and you know what you need to do in order to get what you want to have happen and then of course deliver innovative um, approaches and make yourself, you know, stick out of the crowd above the fray and really um, have people understand that this is where we go to be able to collaborate and connect with each other. I mentioned um, effective products. Now we all use social products or social sites, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course I've seen uh, some amazing presentations today. So there's a lot of ex excellent tools that are out there. But the question is, are they asking the right question when their members are coming into their community? So it is important to be able to ask questions as people are coming into your communities or on your platform, creating a survey and then return the information real time so people actually have a clear understanding of who are the people that are coming into this community and are they using the product to the fullest. And so it's always a good idea to just double check and make sure, you know, are your customers happy? And if they're not, then you need to figure out why they're not. And best way to do that, which we have found, is to put together, you know, surveys, receive the feedback, and you know, to find out. It's always great to hear good feedback. I mean, we always love to hear nice things. 
Although I will say the best thing you can receive actually is the bad and the ugly, because then you know that there is something that could be adjusted or pivoted. And then you can uh, make the people that are not very happy, make them happy. And they may even give you additional ideas or great concepts that could be added to your software. And also share the findings. Not everyone is willing to um, take a survey or share their input. But if you do share customer insights, a lot of times what happens is someone might identify what was the insight to their situation, which will help them. And of course, you always want to incent, um, incent your customers because they do invest a lot of time. And it is important um, to identify that these are the people that truly do care about what's happening within the community and they want to share the information. So definitely very important to be able to make sure that you're using all of the correct tools the right way just ask the question. And then the next item we're gonna talk about is, I think this is probably one of the most, well, of course, all five are very important, but this one also is really important, which is going back to what I had mentioned at the beginning, which is direct communications. Make sure that you have or deliver high strength communications directly to the right customer. Based on community profiles that a lot of the people um, have built as they come into your community, you know, are you continuing to refresh and ask new questions? Do you have, so for instance, as an example, Work Out Loud does offer dynamic profiling. So even though when someone comes into the community, our Work Out Loud community is there, they may have one or two questions, but then when they come back again, they may answer one or two, three, one or two more questions. Every single time they come back, they may or may not have a question, but what's amazing about that information is I'm able to take that information and identify and interview the demographic, the demographics of the people that have taken the, um, have filled out their profiles and then put them into categories. Once I put them into categories, then I'm able to create messaging based on that demographic, which then allows people to receive the information that pertains to them. And so another item that we do offer within our community platform is people are able to follow communities, people, blogs, content. So that way, when there's information that is posted within our communities, those people that have shown interest by following, or I should say subscribing, they will receive that direct information. And it's always important also to include the unsubscribe because we certainly don't want people to be frustrated and um, jobs, roles, companies, things change. So we certainly uh, feel that it's important to make sure that you're managing your spam or the frustration if people don't want to receive anything. So with that said, let's just go to the next one. And this is what I've been talking about. It's really important to have the right content, the right people, and of course, at the right time. So we talked a little bit about um, well, we continue to talk about community and creating a sense of community within your customer ecosystem. You want to empower your customers and allow them to invite their peers. Now, today, obviously, we are not able to all come together face to face, but I'm sure that the majority of the people that are attending this event have gone to conferences face to face and you've met people and you wanted to continue the conversation afterwards because you made a great relationship and you found out that they, um, you have a lot of things in common. Well, with a customer ecosystem and allowing people to invite people into the community, it allows them to continue the conversation. And so Work Out Loud really focuses on, on what's happening before an event, during an event, and then after the event. So as Bevy has been really great stating, you know, come for the event, but stay for the community. I definitely agree with that 1 million percent. So, but going back to um, empowering your customer, you know, inviting people in and identify the people that are engaging with each other and ask permission to showcase them. Everyone likes to share information, especially you know, thought leaders, if they have great information, it just helps people come to a faster conclusion and then reach out to those ex the experts that have a voice and then show some respect to them by um, encouraging members to follow them or reward them or show appreciation, acknowledge the leaders within the community. And then with all of that activity that's taking place, it's always a great idea to have some type of uh, loyalty programs and badges. I mean, we did see an uptick with our communities when we started offering badges and because everyone likes to receive a reward, right? And incentives. And so 
that's where it's just really important to be able to have people come together and have the customers leveraging the customers receiving information because they're going through the same thing instead of necessarily relying on maybe an on I I will say this a salesperson or the actual company when have them leverage the information off of each other what's also really nice is when you see customer to customer collaboration, you start to see things bubble up and you start to see hot topics. And then you can actually put some campaigns around that. And so then you can further the conversation and invite a thought leader and have a discussion. And then that could even roll into maybe um, a cadence where you have lunch and learns every Friday that are only 30 minutes, but it's around that topic that those two customers were talking about because there's more people that may want to discuss it as well. So, Work the way your customers work. That is the only way that we believe that your customers will truly absorb what you're trying to accomplish, which is offering a community platform for people to continue to communicate, collaborate, and invest in their business and have a better understanding of best practices, um, thought leaders, but again, put, put the responsibility within the, 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 customer, uh, the customer base. So we talked about um, connecting people and the activities that could take place, but now if we take a look at the intelligence, I'm sorry, the intelligence and the data, that's where you're going to find out what people are doing. Are they, when are they coming in? How long are they coming into the community? What are they doing? And so then that way you're able to encourage people to follow the groups so you know that there is interest in videos or blogs or um, an online registration for possibly uh, webinars that happen every week, whatever it may be. Always encourage people to go and follow things so then that way you've got your, um, your intelligence and data showing that these things are actually taking place. And so, for instance, you want to make sure that you've got KPIs in place. And when you do have KPIs in place, then you're able to actually measure. So, and then, of course, execute on the data findings and share them with other people. And, you know, something else is when are they doing it? Are they doing it once a year? When do you see the spikes within your analytics? Are you seeing people come in at certain times of the day, certain times of the week, month, year? What is it surrounding? Is it around the holidays? Is it around politics? I mean, what is it that's having people start to bubble up and communicate? And then grab that and start putting campaigns around it. And then people will get excited and continue to come back. It's really also important to have uh, an, MPO, an MPS score, because then you're gonna be able to identify your detractors, which are pretty much the negative people within the community or else they're not receiving as, as much um, information. You also have the passive and then the promoters. You want the promoters because they're the ones that are gonna recommend or suggest your product, your community, your environment to other people. Because obviously it goes back to your customers are your best marketers, as well as helping you with your roadmap. But going back to the detractors, if they're not happy, why are they not happy? And that's when you can adjust and pivot and interview them. Ask them how can we improve? And what we have experienced is if there's a detractor, we actually request uh, a meeting with them and just really have a clear understanding of why and how can we help? And what's wonderful is um, they end up being a promoter because we took the time to invest into them and try to fix the situation. And it just goes back to keeping your customer forever, building that relationship. So this is an example of um, some of the things that a couple of our customers had said. I mean, obviously there's resources such as LinkedIn and, and Google. And um, I think this is... Uh, this is Captera. Um, there's a lot of resources that are out there because it's always nice to receive a nice email of thank you or sh you know show their gratitude. But there's nothing wrong with saying, would it be possible to put this into this this area um, so I can share it with LinkedIn? I can share it with Google Doc or not Google Docs with Google. Um, it, it's just there's nothing wrong with asking a customer, thank you. I'm so happy that you're happy. Can you? Put something together so then that way it speaks louder to our clients that are our prospects 
to read something that our current customer has. So just kind of wanted to share just as an, as an example, always try to receive feedback, create that brag book um, because it will definitely come in handy when someone doesn't necessarily want to talk to you, but they would like to see what other people are saying. So we also talked about, you know, KPIs. This is just an example I wanted to show you, which is, this is just an example of just a very small micro site within a very large group. And so we are identifying, you know, it's important to know what, what's happening within the quarter, within the month, within the day, um, how many followers they have, uh, how many events they've done, because we've done online, we do online registrations, but now we're just all virtual. And then the email communications that are sent out or the photos or the videos, all these things are stored underneath one umbrella within Work Out Loud. And what it does is it allows the customers to continue to collaborate and improve their business and leverage the thought leaders that are within that community. And then the next slide is just the importance, again, to measure and improve because you always have room for improvement, especially with software. You're constantly building up software with new technology and it's always great to, to actually have something concrete um, instead of an actual person telling you as well as the concrete information that is gathered. Um, innovation approaches. This is kind of interesting to me when I think of innovative approaches because there is so much technology out there and there is so much wisdom and um, so many things have been built around innovative approaches. But I will say what I think was probably important is just bring it back to the basics. It is innovative to continue to have conversations. You know, you don't want to assume that everything is okay with your customer. So you wanna stay engaged with them. There are products out there that help you go through the sales cycle, such as Salesforce, excellent, fantastic company. They do amazing things. I actually use it myself. Although once I get them through the door and through the process and the contract is signed, then what? There is a period of time where there's not necessarily some engagement and that's where community platforms really, really help to continue the relationship in, and improve the journey and then keep your customer forever. So keeping content relevant and fresh. I know when things are continuing to be stagnant and continue to roll, uh, people don't see them anymore. So, and show appreciation to the experts and have them feel a sense of responsibility to, to share that content. Um, I have quite a few thought leaders in my communities where they get excited to share something. And that's where we promote them and we showcase them and through newsletters or blogs and they thoroughly enjoy it. And again, it just creates a circle of trust. And then really going back to the basics again, how can I help? If you just ask, how can I help? It's amazing what will come out of someone's mouth. I know that a lot of us are constantly wanting to tell people what we have to offer and how we can help them and they need our help. But if you just ask, how can I help? It opens up a whole new door of information that you may have not ever had. So that's something I would uh, recommend. And then keep your site nice and clean, simple community interface. With the communities today, um, even some of the standard social sites, they're so busy with so much information. You do not even know where to click, what to do. It just gets, you get bombarded confused, frustrated, and then you leave. So you really want to try to keep it really simple and make sure you have tutorials or um, maybe do some drip marketing where you're sending out a communication that just focuses on one little tiny thing that brings them back into the site where they learn a little bit more. So every single time they come into the community, they're going to be more and more familiar. And it's no different than if you guys remember back when you were going from junior high school to high school, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna find my locker, I'm not gonna know what to do. Well, sure enough, day by day, by the fifth or sixth day, you know exactly where to go, you know what to do because you have been shown the net, you know, for a few times. So it's really no different than just, it's just getting used to something. So the drip marketing really does help. Every day you could send them a little something. Of course, the um, it depends on how you wanna do it. You can have it sent out once a week or once a month, whatever, however you wanna do, but we always recommend that. Don't have someone just Look at the entire elephant expecting to eat it just eat a little piece at a time so i also wanted to put a quote that i thought was pretty awesome with brian tracy where it says um, approach each customer with an idea of helping him or her solve a problem or or achieve a goal not selling a product or service if you're continuing to help people 
the sale will fall into place. And that's something I actually learned from Startup Grind because I was uh, a little shout out to Derek Anderson. I was a Startup Grind director for Minneapolis for three years and I learned so much. And I think that also um, has a lot to do with the success of our Work Out Loud company. So um, thank you, Derek, for that. And just want to let everyone know that we would love to work with you. We would love to help you. We would love to help measure your customer experience. And if anyone has any questions, I would love to answer them. And feel free to follow us. And once again, thank you so much. Really appreciate the opportunity. And um, to all my peers, thanks for all the information. The knowledge has been fantastic. Thank you, Lauren. That was amazing and very valuable presentation of yours. Yes, we got questions here. So our first question is from Danny. What tools are you using to track customer feedback? We are, can you see, let's see here. I'm checking to see, stop sharing my screen. I'm gonna show, okay, there we go. Okay, what are we tracking? What are we using to track the customer feedback? Is that the, okay. Um, well, what we do is we actually, our community platform does have areas. There's of course um, a help area where people can actually put in the information for, um, receiving some help, if there is any request for enhancements, um, surveys, we polls and surveys are really huge. And so it's the same technology of people have the ability to ask questions, we receive the information, and then that's where a dialogue can happen. And it's built into our software. So everything that you see within or on the Work Out Loud platform, we have written it 100% from surveys to polls to emails to online registration. Uh, we take credit cards, um, blogs, anything and everything you'd wanna be able to do. So I'd love to talk to you more if, you, if you're interested. All right, thank you for that. And another question from Lisa, still related to customer feedback. She asked, what about customer feedback during virtual events? I think it's great to have a place where people can, get, can give feedback as it comes to them. Yes. Well, what they can do is we have forums, so they could certainly enter the information into a forum that is related to a group that actually has is providing the um, the virtual meeting itself. So there is areas, and what's also nice with our forums is when people place a question, you can actually tag it. It can be which is, goes into a category. You can also um, have it, you can upload documentation or anything along with it. So then that way there's more information for us to be able to get back to them with. But there's a notification that is sent. So if that person puts um, information in the, in the forum, I will receive the request if I reply and or if somebody else replies, because we understand that it's important for your customers to be able to communicate to the customers. And so it's not just one person that's answering the question, we're allowing the entire community unless they want to have it moderated. And so there's, it's locked down because we have different levels of security, but there is a dialogue that can go back and forth and you do have the ability to subscribe or unsubscribe or else you can close it if you want to because it's, the conclusion has been met. So does that answer? Yes, that is great. And I'm thinking to try it and visit your workout loud and see how it works. So another question, I think this is the last question that we have from Dani again. How are you delivering or serving up your NPS survey to your customers? That is also in, in a survey, a survey type. So that's, there can be, we can, it can be on the website itself. It can be within the community or it can be an email communication that goes out and we pull them back in and they take, it's basically a survey, it's a survey style. And then you, whoever is the owner of that survey of the NPS score, you have the rights to go in and see it at any time. So we have reports that support all surveys, the NPS scores, um, anything and everything that needs to be done with surveys, events, polls, emails, uh, you do have the ability to go in there. So it's just a communication that's sent out and then people can come back in and take it and or people can go ahead and log in because all of our communities 
are public or private, just depending on what the policy is of the owner of the community. Okay, thank you very much. We don't have any questions here. And again, Lauren, we appreciate your time. I know you have a busy schedule, but you took the time to be here at CMX Summit 2020. And again, where can they reach you if they have more questions? Uh, yes, definitely. Please reach me at loring.cavany at workoutloud.com. And we also have a contact us form on our website as well. So That's I'd love to communicate or collaborate with any of you and let us know if we can help you. Yes, and we are thankful enough to have CL next because the people here are very collaborative. All the yes. speakers, including you, is so amazing and we learned so much today. So thank you very much. We appreciate your presentation and see you on our fun activities. Later on, we have DJ Erson for our CMX Connect networking party. And we also have a pasta making class and a happy pirate show. So hopefully you can join us too there. And have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Bye-bye.